And what a holiday it is in space. Just moments ago, two American astronauts launched a difficult and delicate mission in orbit. They are heading out on a spacewalk to finish repairing the International Space Station's cooling system. The astronauts' spacesuits are getting extra attention this morning after problems on their first spacewalk. Terrell Brown is with us this morning. Good morning, Terrell. Vanita, good morning to you. The astronauts are relying on 35-year-old spacesuits to keep them alive. They provide oxygen, protect against radiation, and apply pressure to prevent the body from expanding in the zero gravity environment. But two recent incidents underscore the potential dangers of working more than 200 miles above Earth. The suits astronauts are wearing today to protect them from the harsh environment of space were developed decades ago. The backpack that was worn by Rick Mastracchio on Saturday was actually built back in 1984. Uh, so the hardware has uh, quite a bit of time on it. Spacesuits weigh over 300 pounds, are made of fiberglass, stainless steel, nylon, and composite materials, and cost between three and $12 million. They're really marvels of, of high-tech ingenuity. And when you think about the environment the astronauts have to work in, that's a good thing. You know, they're in a hard vacuum. They're traveling through space at 17,000 miles an hour. The suits basically are mini spaceships. To keep costs down, NASA designed the suits as interchangeable parts that can be mixed and matched. These are replicas at the National Air and Space Museum. Now they have components enough to make three or four suits up on board the International Space Station as opposed to having components to making a dozen. The suits are regularly tested and updated, and although problems arise, they are rare. My fingers were cold, but they're starting to warm up nicely now. Rick Mastracchio and Mike Hopkins spent five and a half hours in space on Saturday, finishing their walk ahead of schedule. But at the end of that mission, while entering the station, Mastracchio accidentally flipped the wrong switch. And Coach, just to confirm, that was a very brief moment. Uh, it was a one or two seconds, Aki. That allowed a small amount of water into Mastracchio's backpack, which can be extremely dangerous in space. NASA was forced to delay the second spacewalk a day because Mastracchio needed time to assemble a new dry suit. During a July spacewalk, an Italian astronaut suit started leaking, filling his helmet with water. NASA says that incident had no relation to Saturday's water leak. They've got a very good safety record with these things, and of course, if they see any signs of trouble, then they simply don't go outside. The astronauts have snorkel tubes and absorbent pads in their helmets to keep them, or in case of water, uh, NASA says unless something goes wrong, the astronauts should be able to finish installing a new ammonia pump today. Vanita Jeff. All right, Terrell, thank you very much.